Alfonso Cajero, A Journey into Finance History Chapter 77 Supply Chain Disruptions and Nearshoring Trends 2020s COVID-19 highlights vulnerabilities in global supply chains, leading to shifts. In the serene valleys and bustling streets of a small town nestled between towering mountains, life unfolded with the steady cadence of routine. From the break of dawn till the hues of twilight painted the sky, the townsfolk carried on their daily endeavors with a sense of familiarity and assurance. Little did they know, however, that the tranquil cocoon of their existence was soon to be pierced by the thunderous echoes of a global crisis. As whispers of a mysterious virus began to trickle into the town's consciousness, a subtle unease began to gnaw at the edges of its idyllic facade. At first dismissed as a distant wisp of trouble, the gravity of the situation soon became palpable. Families huddled around their radios, absorbing every morsel of news with furrowed brows and worried glances exchanged in silent communication. The invisible threat, known as COVID-19, was stealthily weaving its way across continents, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. With each passing day, the once distant menace crept ever closer, casting a shadow over the town's tranquil existence. Fear, like an insidious fog, seeped into the hearts and minds of its inhabitants, shrouding them in a cloak of uncertainty. The routine pulse of life faltered as the number of confirmed cases mounted, painting a grim picture of the virus's relentless advance. As the town grappled with the harsh reality of the pandemic, its impact reverberated far beyond its borders. Governments scrambled to contain the spread, implementing stringent measures that brought economies to a grinding halt. Borders slammed shut, factories fell silent, and the arteries of global trade constricted under the weight of uncertainty. Suddenly, the once seamless flow of goods and services ground to a halt, exposing the fragility of the intricate web that bound nations together. Amidst the chaos that engulfed the world, businesses found themselves ensnared in a web of uncertainty and disruption. Supply chains, once hailed as the lifeblood of the global economy, buckled under the strain of unprecedented demand shocks and logistical hurdles. Factories lay dormant, their machineries silenced by the absence of raw materials and labor shortages. Warehouses groaned under the weight of unsold inventory, their shelves barren testaments to the rupture in the supply chain. The town, too, felt the sting of the pandemic's economic fallout. Storefronts that once bustled with activity now stood silent and shuttered, their owners grappling with the grim reality of dwindling revenues and uncertain futures. The familiar hum of commerce gave way to an eerie silence, punctuated only by the occasional wail of sirens echoing through deserted streets. As the specter of scarcity loomed large, the townsfolk braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead. In the face of adversity, the human spirit proved resilient as communities banded together in search of solutions to weather the storm. Entrepreneurs and innovators rose to the occasion, harnessing the power of technology to bridge the gaps in the fractured supply chain. From virtual marketplaces that connected producers with consumers to decentralized networks that bypassed traditional distribution channels, a new wave of ingenuity emerged from the ashes of despair. The town, too, bore witness to acts of solidarity and compassion that illuminated the darkest of days. Neighbors rallied around one another, sharing resources and offering support to those in need. Local businesses pivoted their operations to meet the demands of the times, adapting their offerings to serve the community in innovative ways. As the dust began to settle, a newfound sense of resilience took root, fueling the town's determination to rebuild stronger and more resilient than before. As the world grappled with the aftershocks of the pandemic, a seismic shift began to take shape on the horizon. The once unchallenged orthodoxy of globalized supply chains came under scrutiny, as businesses and policymakers alike sought to mitigate the risks exposed by COVID-19. From boardrooms to government chambers, conversations turned to the concept of nearshoring, the practice of relocating manufacturing and production closer to consumer markets. For decades, the allure of cheap labor and abundant resources had driven companies to outsource their operations to far-flung corners of the globe. However, the pandemic laid bare the vulnerabilities inherent in this model, as disruptions to transportation and trade routes wreaked havoc on supply chains. In response, 
businesses began to reevaluate their sourcing strategies, prioritizing resilience and agility over cost efficiency. Against this backdrop of uncertainty, nearshoring emerged as a beacon of hope for businesses seeking to future-proof their operations. By bringing production closer to home, companies could reduce their exposure to geopolitical risks and supply chain disruptions, while also reaping the benefits of faster lead times and greater flexibility. The town, with its strategic location and skilled workforce, soon found itself at the forefront of this burgeoning trend. As factories sprang to life and assembly lines hummed with activity once more, the town experienced a newfound sense of vitality and purpose. Jobs that had once been outsourced to distant shores returned home, breathing new life into the local economy. With each shipment of goods that rolled off the production line, the town's confidence grew as it embraced its role as a key player in the evolving landscape of global trade. As the tide of nearshoring swept across the globe, its impact rippled far beyond the confines of the town. Suppliers and service providers scrambled to realign their operations to meet the shifting demands of their clients, while logistics providers raced to adapt to the changing dynamics of the supply chain. Governments, too, sought to capitalize on the trend, offering incentives and tax breaks to attract investment and spur job creation. In boardrooms and conference halls, executives grappled with the complexities of reshoring their operations, weighing the potential benefits against the inherent challenges. For some, the decision was clear-cut, driven by a desire to mitigate risk and safeguard against future disruptions. For others, the calculus was more nuanced as they weighed the trade-offs between cost efficiency and supply chain resilience. As businesses navigated the uncharted waters of nearshoring, the dynamics of the global supply chain underwent a profound transformation. No longer bound by the constraints of distance and time, companies embraced a more decentralized approach to manufacturing and production, leveraging digital technologies to optimize their operations and enhance their agility. From 3D printing and robotics to blockchain and artificial intelligence, a new era of innovation dawned, promising to revolutionize the way goods were produced and distributed. For the town, this technological revolution brought with it a wealth of opportunities as entrepreneurs and startups flocked to its shores in search of fertile ground to sow the seeds of their vision. Co-working spaces and incubators sprang up like mushrooms after a spring rain, providing a nurturing environment for creativity and collaboration to flourish. With each new venture that took root, the town's reputation as a hub of innovation and entrepreneurship grew attracting talent and investment from far and wide. Amidst the whirlwind of change that swept through the town, it was easy to lose sight of the human element that lay at the heart of its transformation. Behind every factory floor and supply chain operation stood individuals whose lives were irrevocably intertwined with the ebb and flow of commerce. From the seasoned machinists who honed their craft over decades to the fresh-faced graduates eager to make their mark on the world, each person played a vital role in the town's economic resurgence. Yet, amidst the hustle and bustle of progress, it was important not to lose sight of the human toll exacted by the shifting tides of industry. For every job created, and every business that flourished, there were those left behind, grappling with the harsh realities of unemployment and uncertainty. As the town charted a course towards prosperity, it was essential to ensure that no one was left behind and that the benefits of nearshoring were shared equitably among all its residents. Despite the promise of nearshoring, the path to success was fraught with challenges and obstacles to overcome. From navigating regulatory hurdles to managing supply chain risks, businesses faced a myriad of complexities as they sought to reorient their operations towards local markets. The town, too, was not immune to the teething pains of this transition as infrastructure strained to keep pace with the demands of an increasingly interconnected world. Yet, in the face of adversity, the town rallied together with characteristic resilience and determination. Community leaders worked hand in hand with businesses and policymakers to identify solutions to the myriad challenges that lay ahead. Whether it was investing in workforce development programs or upgrading critical infrastructure, the town approached each obstacle as an opportunity to innovate and grow stronger. As the world grappled with the existential threat of climate change, the imperative to build a more sustainable future 
grew ever more urgent. For the town, this meant embracing a holistic approach to nearshoring that prioritized environmental stewardship and social responsibility. From investing in renewable energy sources to reducing waste and carbon emissions, businesses took proactive steps to minimize their ecological footprint and leave a positive legacy for future generations. Thank you.